In 1990, the tuition cost at a large Midwestern university was $92 per credit hour. In 2005, tuition had risen to $287 per credit hour. Determine a linear equation C to represent the cost of tuition in terms of X, the number of years since 1990. And let's find the equation in the form Y equals B plus MX, which is equivalent to Y equals MX plus B. In our case though, notice how X is the input variable and C is the output variable, and therefore our equation is going to be in the form C equals B plus MX, where B is the initial value or starting amount, also known as the vertical intercept, and M is the constant rate of change, also known as the slope. And now going back to the given information, since X is the number of years since 1990, and in 1990 the tuition was $92 per credit hour, we can represent the information as an ordered pair, and the ordered pair would be 0 comma 92. Again, we use zero for x since x is the number of years since 1990, which means x equals zero represents the year 1990. Notice how each ordered pair is in the form of x comma c. We also know in 2005 tuition had risen to $287 per credit hour and since 2005 is 15 years after 1990, we can represent the information as the ordered pair 15, 287. X equals 15 represents the year 2005. To determine the value of X, we can always take the desired year of 2005 in this case and subtract the base year of 1990, which will give us X equals 15. Now that we have two ordered pairs, we can determine the equation in the form C equals B plus MX. And again, B is the initial or starting amount, which would be the tuition in the base year of 1990, which would be $92 per credit hour. So we know B is equal to 92, and now we need to find the slope. And the slope formula is normally the change of Y divided by the change of X. In our case, though, the slope is equal to the change in C divided by the change in X. Instead of using Y sub two minus Y sub one for the change of Y, the change of C is C sub two minus C sub one, and the change of X is X sub two minus X sub one. Let's label the ordered pairs X sub one comma C sub one, X sub two comma C sub two. So the change in C is equal to 287 minus 92, and the change in X is equal to 15 minus zero. 287 minus 92 is equal to 195. Of course, 15 minus zero is equal to 15. 195 divided by 15 is equal to 13. So now we know the slope or constant rate of change is 13 the tuition cost is increasing by $13 per credit hour per year. And now that we know M is equal to 13, we can write our equation. Our equation is C equals 92 plus 13X. Next, in the year 2011, the tuition will be how many dollars per credit hour? We need to determine which value of X represents the year 2011. X is equal to 2011 minus the base year of 1990, which is equal to 21. We substitute 21 for X into our equation and determine C to determine the cost in tuition per credit hour in the year 2011. So we have C equals 92 plus 13 times 21, which is equal to 365 which means in the year 2011, tuition will be $365 per credit hour. And for the last question, in what year will tuition be $430 per credit hour? So notice now they're giving us the cost per credit hour, which is C. So they're giving us C equals 430. So we substitute 430 for C in our equation and then solve for X and determine what year 
the x value represents. Substituting 430 for C, we have 430 equals 92 plus 13x. We first isolate 13x by subtracting 92 on both sides. Simplifying on the right side, 92 minus 92 is 0. We have 13x equals 430 minus 92 is equal to 338. The last step is to divide both sides by 13. Simplifying, 13 divided by 13 is 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals 338 divided by 13, which is equal to 26. So our answer is not 26. We need to determine what year this represents. And since x is a number of years since 1990, the year is 1990 plus 26, which is equal to 2016. In the year 2016, the tuition will be $430 per credit hour. I hope you found this helpful.